Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm here today with my mom. We are currently in downtown Toronto and we are going to explore the Fleur de Ville exhibition, which is essentially just a bunch of beautiful flower exhibitions sprinkled all around Yorkville. If you're not familiar with Toronto, Yorkville is pretty much just a really fancy area of the city where there's a lot of fancy shops and fancy people. This is our map. We're gonna hit up all of these spots. As you can see, Fleur de Ville flower installations. We're gonna be exploring them today. So I'm not really sure what to expect, but it's gonna be a good time, right mom? Yeah. I can't believe we got her on the vlog. This is the Royal Ontario Museum. You can see this lovely installation was put in later. This building across from the ROM is where I had some of my classics courses. And it's also part of a Club Monaco. <laughs> there it is right behind us and the ROM. My mom and I both rock in the Rothy's today. We love Rothy's. They're made from recycled water bottles. They're very comfortable. Love to support a brand that's doing their part for the environment. We are approaching one of the first installations. Let's see what it has to offer. Okay, so here's the first one, Yorkville Lane. This is Yorkville Lane, so I think we're on the right track. Let's go. Let's go. You can tell you're getting closer because there's a bunch of people with their cameras out. We're staying distanced. By the way, in Toronto, we don't need to wear our masks outdoors. That's why I don't have mine on. If at any point we get uncomfortable, we do have our masks on us and we'll put them on. Look at this car. It looks like it's eating all these flowers. They're real, in case you're wondering. And this bench. You can just sit and enjoy yourself. Do a little swinging. We're in another hallway now, and this hallway is full of floral mannequins. It's essentially all mannequins whose clothes is totally made out of flowers. There's one that's like all orchids, there's one that's more dried flowers, dried roses, things like that, and then there's one behind here that's like all green and mossy. You can kind of see it. There it is. This one kind of reminds me of a rainforest with all the succulents and moss. Some pretty colorful florals down here. Super pretty. I hope you can hear me with my mask on. We just came indoors, so obviously we're in our masks, and they have all these like little flower dogs, and they're so cute. This one's my favorite, using hanging amaranthus. This is meant to be a Hungarian sheep dog, and I think they did a pretty incredible job. Look at his little tongue. A little pink poodle. And over here, I know it's a little bit blocked by the sign, but this is an Afghan with a fire hydrant. <laughs> you can see all his beautiful long floral hair. Guys, I just realized the Afghan is literally peeing on the fire hydrant. Like this is the level of creativity we're at. Can you believe the artistry? Immaculate. And then we have this lovely lady over here with her Shih Tzu. He's so cute. Always sanitizing. Ooh, okay. Well, the struggles of wearing a mask. Okay, there we go. I've talked about this before. All your makeup comes off on your mask. It's all worth it for public safety. Continuing our walk, but when we were at the Chien exhibition, they're actually having a contest where if you enter for like a gift card to a store, you get a complimentary bouquet. We obviously entered because the free bouquet, why wouldn't we enter? Really lovely. So now we get to leave the flower installations with a bouquet of flowers. We're taking a much needed break. We've been on the hunt for all these flower installations. Now to replenish our energy so we can keep going. We also have a lovely installation behind us that we can enjoy over lunch. Just got some coffees and treats. Need to uh, carb load so we can keep going. Happy lunching. Oh, that's very hot, but very nice. I got a little raisin bun. I don't think I've ever gotten that at a bakery before, but it's feeling in the mood, you know? Got my mom an almond croissant. First impressions. All of my videos eventually turn into mukbangs. Mmm. Okay. Yummy. Gonna eat my lunch. We're post-lunch, we're continuing to explore. Everyone's still honking every five seconds. This is another lovely installation we've discovered. Not all of these are real, like these, but most of them are. Very autumnal color scheme. It's in the back of this little truck. There's been a lot of like flowers in cars today. Wow, this one's pretty. Back inside, masks are back on. Look at this lady in purple. This one is super cool. Oh, it matches my mask. <laughs> Wow. Look at her skirt, so cute. I like this flower combo. Look at those orchids. Cute dress, girl. This lovely canoe one. This one's got two of my favorite plants, monsteras and orchids. That lady's real regal over there with the pompous grass. I'm 
finding pompous grass is very in this floral season. We're heading back to the car now. I think we managed to see all of the installations. I will say the installations were pretty difficult to find. Like I showed you guys earlier, they provided a map on their website, which would tell you the general area of where things were. You did have to do a little bit of detective work, which was fine. It was all part of the fun. By the time this video goes up, the installation will be done, but I figured I'd still show you guys because there's always something happening in Toronto and we should all be taking advantage of these outdoor activities because obviously a lot of things are closed. The year is going in a way that we didn't expect, but everybody is adapting. So there is always something fun to do, a fun way to spend a Friday or your weekend or whatever and enjoy the weather. Really glad we went. We also did a little bit of shopping. Feels very European having flowers sticking out of your shopping bag. Now we're just walking back to the car in this beautiful Toronto neighborhood. It's a little bit later now, I'm home. Some lipstick on. Do I need a little more height maybe? Let's grab another book here. Better Homes and Garden, New Garden Book. Makes for an excellent tripod. Perfect. I came home to a lovely package, which is very, very sweet. So I wanted to share it with you guys. They've sent me a little note and this is the box. It's so beautiful. I'm actually kind of a sucker for when a company sends me things in a really pretty box. I, I keep the box forever, pretty much. Um, but it's really nice because it's a, it's a really good quality box. So it'll be great for packing something, keeping something in a box, you know. Anyway, beautiful packaging. So this is the Rose de Mai Harvest Set, which celebrates the brand's iconic Rose de Mai, a delicate multi-petaled rose that is hand harvested each May in grass France. Lovely, okay, looks like this. I wanna be careful because I believe there's a tray in here and I don't want it <laughs> to shatter. Ooh, okay, let me pull it out and show you guys. So you get this really pretty rose tray. Great for all your trinkets and jewels and skincare and makeup. And then this is the Eau de Rose de Mai of pure rose water. Do a little spray test. Ooh, okay, first of all, this bottle is like really nice and heavy. It's just got a really great weight to it. I'm guessing I can just spray this on my face, right? Hmm. <laughs> this is like genuinely my first impression. It's a really nice mister. You know, some mists are like really aggressive or they're more just a stream than a mist. This is like a really nice, even delicate mist. Like the actual rose scent is very, very minimal in a good way. It's not that like super overpowering, perfumey fragrance that I feel like you get with a lot of rose water. So that is lovely. Just a nice little refresher. I've just been walking around for probably four hours. So nice to get a little cooling spray in. And then we have the Rose de Mai face oil in this lovely box. Really like this packaging. I won't use it now, but let me open it and just have a little sniff. Again, I love that the rose scent isn't super overpowering. I actually really like the smell of rose, but when it comes to skincare, you don't necessarily want to be like smelling rose on your face all day. So I really appreciate that. It's a really subtle scent. So yeah, that's it. Just thought it'd be fun to do a little unboxing. They didn't ask me to show the product or anything like that, but I actually wasn't expecting this at all. So it was a really pleasant surprise. Let me know if you guys enjoyed that and I will try to do more of these little hauls or PR hauls in my vlogs. I personally really, really like seeing what people get in the mail. So so I just thought it'd be fun to share with you guys. If you did watch my um, Get Ready With Me video, you will be familiar with this brand because I think I featured their lipsticks, which I have it on my lips right now, but it's almost like a tinted lip balm, super moisturizing, really good color payoff as well. Love this brand, very, very sweet of them to send me this lovely gift set and um, check them out if you want. Combined our two bouquets that we got at the flower market in our living room, right behind my makeshift book tripod. Anyway, now I'm actually going to whip up some cookies because I'm going over to a friend's house tonight. We're doing a little backyard projector movie night and dessert is on me. So I actually found a chocolate chip recipe on TikTok and I'm going to try to make it. I've never made this chocolate chip cookie recipe before. I'm pretty sure I have everything. I'll take you along on that cookie journey. I think because the cookies need to chill for like two to three hours, I'll actually be baking them at his house. So I will show you the final result a little bit later on in the vlog, but let's get to baking. So the chocolate chip cookies are well on their way and I've just chopped up the chocolate and a little secret ingredient I'm adding. Here's my chocolate. As you guys will probably know, I like to actually rough chop my own chocolate. And then here is something special I got at the grocery store the other day, which is pecan pie flavored mixed nuts. So you've got cashews, almonds, and pecans. And I think they're gonna add a very delicious flavor profile. By the way, something I learned recently, which I wanted to share with you guys, which I didn't know until probably about a couple weeks ago. I've always been a big fan of if I'm making chocolate chip cookies of cutting my own chocolate from like a big chocolate block. But I learned that the reason people 
people use chocolate chips is because chocolate chips have a higher melting factor so they keep their shape better in cookies or whatever you're putting them in but the kind of chocolate that i like to use melts faster so i guess it gives you like a gloopier finish which personally i prefer because it gives a more artisanal look so do what you will you can also do a mix a lot of people recommend doing that but today i'm just doing chocolate and nuts um i never do measurements for my chocolate chip cookies i pretty much just put as much filling as i want this actually does seem like a lot, but at the same time, I feel like you can never have too much chocolate, right? Let me show you like the nut medley thing I bought. They're like covered in this honey sugar coating, I guess. Maybe honey, I don't know, there's honey there. We'll see how it turns out, so let's put them in the cookie dough. It's all in there. Can you give it a nice stir? I was worried I had too much chocolate, but I actually feel like it's perfect because there literally is not an inch of this cookie that doesn't have some sort of chocolate or nut in it. I think it was the perfect amount. I'm going to form the cookie balls and I'm gonna take those over to my friend's place. They need to chill for like two or three hours and then we're gonna bake them later on in the evening for dessert. We're almost there and I realized I didn't show you guys the cookie dough balls before we left the house, so here they are. Took two containers, <laughs> took two containers. They're pretty big, they're about like um probably like an inch inch and a half in diameter and then i also sprinkled them you probably can't see but with some pink himalayan sea salt so you got a little bit of sweet and salty action happening i kept them in the freezer before we left so they're still pretty cold and then when we get to his house we're gonna pop them in the fridge and then bake them later so i hope they turn out good movie night i hope you can see me i'm a terrible vlogger these are the cookies let me show you by the candlelight they turned out really really well <gasps> Mm hmm tell me what you think first impressions under the spooky candlelight wow <laughs> wow they're so good good mm. thoughts mm. <laughs> wow yay Perfect. a great consistency how long did you bake them for 20 14 minutes you hear that has to be 14 minutes exactly we Maybe don't joke around here. Okay, yeah, we're watching Mulan, so we gotta get back to it. Sorry, this is very important. Goodbye. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So it's been a few days now. Currently Sunday night. It's probably like, what time is it? 8.56. I had a great weekend. It was really, really busy. Some of it you would have seen in this vlog, and then I will be posting another vlog next week of what I did yesterday. So essentially, my Saturday adventures will be in a vlog that I'm posting next week. We did a huge four-hour hike at the Nautilus Saga conservation area and then we went to see Eugenia Falls and then after that we went to Hogs Falls which is actually a waterfall that you can like swim around and go under so if you want to see what that was like I will try to leave a link somewhere once the vlog goes up I've been really grateful generally I've mentioned this before on the vlog but for all the time that I've had to spend with my family typically at this time of year I would already be back in LA working so I feel very very grateful and super fortunate for all of this time that I've had with all of my family here and just generally having like more time to explore and appreciate Canada and Ontario specifically. This is the most that I have seen of Ontario in all of my years of living in Canada. It's been a pretty adventurous summer. Anyway, I will hopefully have that linked for you guys. And in the meantime, I have all sorts of other videos of me getting up to all sorts of fun, adventurous things around Ontario. So just check out my channel and you'll see all those vids. But tonight, it's been a very chill day. I just did yoga in the park with my friend earlier today. And then honestly, mostly just like vegged out. Currently, I actually have the oven preheating so I can make Make those cookies that I baked that you would have seen earlier on in the vlog. I did get some footage at my friend's house but unfortunately because we literally made the cookies at probably 11 p.m. and we were spending our whole evening outside it was pretty dark and I feel like you didn't really get to see the final product so I figured I would recreate it for you today and it also just means that I get to eat cookies tonight. It's a win-win. <laughs> so that was that but let's make some more cookies now. The cookies are on the baking sheet. They look a little bit funny because the TikTok video I watched recommended to split the cookie in half and like put the two halves together as a way to add more texture. I have never tried this technique before, but I did it at my friend's house and it seemed to work. So we're gonna do it again tonight. And maybe this will be a new part of my cookie making. And the oven is preheated to 375 and I'm gonna bake them for 14 minutes. This cookie recipe was actually very, very simple. So if you guys want me to do a recipe video, which I realize I haven't done in a really long time, let me know down below and I will try to do one for you soon. Look at these beauties. Stunning. Ooh, look at that grease. <laughs> I am very excited to dig into these cookies. We'll probably be eating 
them over an episode of Friday Night Lights, which I just recently started rewatching. This is one of my favorite shows of all time, possibly my favorite show of all time. So when All American first came out and a lot of people were comparing us to Friday Night Lights, I was like, it's a really big deal for me because clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose Texas forever. Anyway, I'm rewatching it. Very happy I have the DVD set. It's not on Netflix anymore. It used to be, but it doesn't matter because I got this archaic piece of tech. That's been a lot of fun, just considering it like season three prep. So it's, it's pretty much work. It's like very serious work. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of travel videos, a lot of baking videos, cooking videos. There's something for everyone on this channel. But in any case, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll see you next week. Bye.